Hi, this is Jim McConnell coming to you from Redmond, Oregon at LEHQ. Today we're doing a chemist corner on what's inside matters. When we have our slogan of what's inside matters, we're referring to the chemicals that we use, the raw materials that we use when we actually formulate and produce, manufacture, and sell to you something that we feel is as safe as we can make it. In these cases, we have a lot of products that are coming in into our market from various locations around the world. And some of those products don't contain what the ingredient list actually says they contain. Some of them actually contain things other than what the ingredients list. And we're gonna go over a few of those today. These mostly come in contact with you in your ability to do gel polish applications. And these gel, gel polish applications, uh, the top coats are containing some things that I think that should be avoided. In the top coats that we've tested, some of them contain what we call HPA, which is hydroxypropyl acrylate, and HEA, hydroxy ethyl acrylate. Now you're going to look at those two and you're going to say, I think I've seen those names before. Well, hydroxypropyl acrylate is a cousin to or akin to hydroxypropyl methacrylate, which is a monomer that we actually use in some of our products. And HEA is actually hydroxyethyl acrylate akin to hydroxyethyl methacrylate. Uh, and that is something that's actually found commonly in a lot of the gels and acrylics that are sold around the world. Um, when we look at the acrylated versions versus the methacrylated versions, the acrylated versions are fast reacting. Therefore, they have typically some better adhesion to the fingernail. And they also, because they don't contain the methacrylated version, typically have higher issues of skin sensitivity and allergic reactions. So when we're looking at some of these things, we're found, they are found in a lot of the top coats on the market. These top coats have a tendency to cure very, very hard. The acrylated versions of these, mon of these resins, these monomers, give us a better hardness. They give us a better through cure. They give us a better top cure, and they cure tack-free. Um, you can make products cure tack free without these. So I'm not saying that all products that contain or that cure tack free have these uh, two different chemicals in them, but they, they are present in some of the gel polish top coats that are on the market currently. They're at low concentrations. So are they a significant hazard? Absolutely not, but they are there. We don't use these. We typically use HPMA, so hydroxypropyl methacrylate or 2-hydroxypropyl methacrylate and that is a slow reacting, a little bit better scratch resistance, a little bit lower hardness value compared to the HPA. Um, and so that's, that, those are some of the differences we're looking at. We don't use these in light elegance for the reasons that I've listed before. Uh, just ahead of, you know, just previous to this, um, they can cause more of, an, of a tendency for allergic reactions, especially at higher concentrations. Concentrations I've seen these in, in some of the products that we're looking at right now are quite low, but they do happen to be present. Um, if you have any questions on safety, or if you have a question on does your product contain these materials, feel free to email us or call us up, and we'll be happy to answer those questions for you. This is Jim McConnell coming to you from Redmond, Oregon at LEHQ. Thank you very much for your time.